Hi, I'm Peter here. Today, we're going to talk about DSPs. Okay, the subject for today is DSPs. And what does a DSP mean? It's a digital signal processor. Okay, here I have a couple of DSPs that we normally sell and uh, I want to explain to you, if you uh, what is the function of a DSP. Now, I've been talking about the DSPs, but why do you need it? You may be wondering, why can't I just stick speakers in the car, add in a subwoofer and there you go? Well, very simple, I put it in layman's term. Assuming you have the best voice, you can sing very well, but if we push you into the bathroom, I don't think your voice is going to sound as good as it was if you were in a room. Hence, the car is actually like a bathroom. Small uh, uh, enclosure, very reflective surfaces that will make the voice, the speakers echo a bit and there's a lot of reflections in the car. Simply put, just as if as you were in the bathroom, those speakers will not sound good. Now, however, imagine if you are in the bathroom and we have a way to tweak your voice while you are in the bathroom so that your voice then suits the bathroom environment. It sounds a whole lot better that way. A DSP is actually a tool where when we install it into a car for car audio, it allows us to then plug in our laptop to actually do tuning. I will cover the parts about tuning briefly in a while. Let me cover now the types of DSP and uh, how, if you want to shop for one, what to look out for. Okay, firstly, a DSP on its own is called a digital signal processor and this is a sample of it. This is a standalone DSP, which means that its sole purpose is for you to tune the sound. All right. Now, however, with a standalone DSP, you need to add amplifiers after the DSP and so that the amplifiers will do its job to amplify the signals from the DSP to the speakers. Okay, however, nowadays with technology being so advanced, most of the DSPs we sell, like this, comes with an amplifier built in as well. This is equivalent to this with several amplifiers attached to it and it's all in one package. Now, since it comes with built-in amplifiers, of course, depending on the number of speakers you have in your car, you will see that they come in a variety of uh, channels. Like this in my hand is a Musway 6 channel. The smaller brother of it is a 4 channel. And if you go to Audison, this is the 8 channel and this is Audison's 12 channel. Now, you may be wondering, Okay, uh, Musway, Audison, we get many questions like this. Is the Musway better than the Audison? Or is the Audison better than the Musway? Why should I pay more for the Audison? Well, the difference is this. Within each DSP, there is the way it's constructed, like the digital signal processor chipset, how it's designed, and that leads to better sound quality. And hence, normally, you may see like a DSP being sold for a couple of hundred ringgit and you would think that it's the same as these guys. No, it is not. It's actually the amount of amplification, whether the uh, digital signal processing comes through clearly and all that actually matters. Now, on a, on a DSP, what, does it, what are the critical components within a DSP? There are three critical components within a DSP of which you might not be using to tune but I will be doing the tuning most of the time and hence you get to enjoy the end results. The three critical components is first a crossover. A crossover function is built into every of these DSPs that allows us to fine tune how much vocals or bass or how much high frequencies go to each of your speakers. Second one is time delay. Time delay is whereby you get to adjust the delay for each speaker to create that perfect sound stage when you are sitting on the driver's side. The third 
critical component is equalization. It allows you then to fine tune the, end the ending sound coming out from your speakers all the way to your ears. Now, this is just a short video. Hence, if you want to know more about how a DSP can improve the sound in your car, please drop us a line, call us, uh, put in in the comments on this video, whatever. We are available on Google. You can check out our contact numbers. Give us a call, drop us a WhatsApp. Alright, thank you. Bye.